Hey, Gwendolyn, how are you today? I'm so well. It's nice to see you. How are you? Yeah, very good indeed. You look very different than you do in the show, and that's a very different look for you. How did you enjoy those costumes and that hair? I really love the opportunity to transform. I really do. And um, I'm hugely grateful to the life-changing experience I had playing Brienne of Tarth in Game of Thrones. And I'm even more grateful for the opportunity to transform into a different kind of character again altogether. Um, I, I just adored that Tim Burton, who's someone I've wanted to work with my entire life, was able to see me in this way. It was quite an extraordinary thing that happened whereby I had this idea that Larissa Weems should be this Hitchcock-style heroine um, uh, in the mold of sort of Kim Novak in all of her forms, inside Hitchcock films and outside of them, and also to be Hedron in The Birds. And the essence of those characters and, and sort of how, and how they're portrayed, but to subvert that, rather mm. than it be a woman who's trying to survive trauma, this is a woman who's in control. And I thought, what would she have to say now? What would she have to say in this world? Tim had exactly the same idea, and so did Colleen Atwood. So it was Brilliant. an incredible, Tri triangular <laughs> coming together of the same idea, which is also quite miraculous considering I will probably have never been cast in that kind of role. Um, <laughs> so to work with those, I mean, they're, they're brilliant. They're geniuses, really. I think we will come to regard them as geniuses, certainly. Um, was a huge honor for me. It was one that I had quite a lot of trepidation about, but they were so warm and embracing and made me feel really celebrated for who I am. Um, and Colleen Atwood really um, was so celebratory of my body and, and my tastes and my conception of the character. It was a really brilliant experience. And I have to say, I felt really, Tim gave me a lot of confidence and I, I feel very liberated by the experience. Because when I saw Gwendolyn Christie, Tim Burton, I thought, that is a match made in heaven. <laughs> People it's are saying this, it's amazing. Them. It's amazing that you think that. Um, I, I feel, uh, really, honestly, even now sitting here, I, I can't believe I'm saying that I worked with him because I wanted to work with Tim for my entire life. And when we had that first Zoom, we had that first conversation, and he said, he said, of course I'm a fan. And I said, really? And he said, well, of course, of course I am. Um, so it's beautiful when there are those people who always have felt somewhat outside of conventional society are able to identify each other across the ether and work together. Brilliant. And without giving too much away, I mean, I've seen the whole show and it's amazing, but how would you say she's kind of a match for Wednesday? She's no pushover, is she? No, she's not. Larissa Weems is hugely tenacious and she has an iron will and she's really quite ruthless. Uh, she believes that she is in service of the greater good, of protecting these kids who are outcasts and giving them a safe and nurturing environment. But What's interesting is that Larissa Weems is prepared to protect them at all costs. So she's willing to do literally anything in order to create that haven. And we have Wednesday Adams, who is mercurial, iron-willed, and unafraid to say exactly what she thinks and how she, um, how she sees situations and is happy to confront anybody at all. She's happy to fight anybody. So they really are a match. It was interesting to me. I love that there was this older woman in a position of power conf being confronted by a much younger woman who was, who was a student at the school. And they come together in a, a conflicted, strange and frankly weird way that moves across the spectrum from hatred, I believe, all the way up to love and back again.